I first want to make sure they're letting me into their house, right? Like we can't even have a conversation if I'm like stuck out in the yard, you know, waving to them through the window. <laughs> you know, I want to be able to get invited into that horse's house, which is his intimate space, right? Like that's his private space. The horse's body is his private space. That's his body. And I, you know, really have problems accepting that like the riders climb up there and insist before the horse is ready, you know, what we want them to be doing. You know, at first and foremost, like do no harm, okay? So there's got to be this bridge of trust happening. And with Bo, maybe he'll do it right now. Like as we start to pick up the reins, this is what happens. Bo's like, oh my God, you know, don't touch my right rein. Now I'm going sideways. Oh, I've got a speed evasion and a crookedness evasion in, in, high, in high form, okay? And so for me, my conversation of telling Bo, hey man, like we're cool. Like you don't need to be worried about me infringing my idea on your neck. It's your neck, you know? And when you're ready to shorten it and lift it to go in your third level frame, like cool but I, I'm not going to make you do that because there's no agenda to be sold or to get a good score. Like I've been given the gift from the owners to be like, take your time, like do whatever you feel necessary and take your time because we all believe that Bo can become a great horse and it's going to be a fun journey to bring you guys along with. So when I start to pick up the reins and I feel them like, He's, he only goes crooked to the right. Why? Because most horses don't want to bend right. And so they want to offer more evasions going to the right, which is why I many times start him to the left. And very similar to the Helga video and the ability to isometrically resist the horse, whenever I feel Bo, you know, he's, I, sometimes I teach in sound and it's like, he goes like, with his neck right like it starts slow and then it just like woo it's like way up there and then again he's just like ah, you know and he's on his defensive muscles and part of trusting me is for him to get off of those muscles he's not afraid of his environment he's a little bit afraid of contact you know so i have to not only um teach him from the get-go of like how this may feel a little different than before, he's um, offended by it, right? So now I'm actually starting at like negative three. You know, a lot of times our thoroughbreds off the track, um, horses that have been forced into an auction, you know, like whatever. Some horses just have trouble in their confirmation to this is an easy evasion to do. And so we just have to start where we start. Mm -hmm.